Let's talk Tala. We are finally here to talk about the very famous Tala scrunch leggings. Of all the leggings to try from Tala, it was the Sculpt Seamless you guys wanted to see. I got so many requests to review this legging. This was at the top of my list. It took a little while for me to finally receive them. It got held up in customs. I thought for sure, like the post office just gave up on me. Luckily, they landed at my doorstep, surprise, surprise. So with that, apologies for the delay. If it was up to me, this video would have been done like three weeks ago. Not gonna lie, when I first saw these on the website, my brain went straight to amplifies. Between the scrunch bum, the marl design, Design, the branding on the back of the band, everything just screamed Amplify. Granted, there's a ton of similarities, but these are their own legging. But before we hop into it, you already know the drill. If you are not already, please do consider subscribing. We test out activewear every single week on this channel. So hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you don't miss a beat. This video is brought to you in part by Cozy Earth. Cozy Earth is a premium bedding and loungewear company. They are the world's foremost source of high quality, authentic bamboo linens, sleepwear, and loungewear. All of their products are made from super soft viscose from highly sustainable bamboo. Their sheet set, PJ set, ultra soft joggers, and plush lounge socks were chosen five years in a row as one of Oprah's favorite things. I have the bamboo sheet set in the color oat, the bamboo rib knit jogger and long sleeve in the color black. Everything came in reusable and super aesthetic packaging. The softness in these are unreal, so airy and light, and very luxurious. Use my code AshleyG30 to get 30% off your Cozy Earth purchase. I'll have them linked in the description box. Over here is where you can find my measurements. I'll also have them down in the description box as well for you to reference. I'll also have this legging linked down below in case you're interested in taking a closer look as well as Tala's main site. This legging you're about to see is in my true size small. So ironically enough, when I was on Tala's website shopping for these leggings, they were having a sale. I was this close to grabbing one of these Sculpt Seamless leggings for 50% off. I had these ice blue leggings in my cart just chilling. All right, literally ice blue, they were chilling. But then I got to peruse in some more on the website, took my damn sweet time, and then they sold out. All right, that's literally the story of my life. So then I went back to look at other Sculpt Seamless leggings that weren't sold out. Nothing else was on sale. Those were the last of the last, and I almost got my hands on them, but I didn't. So when I went back to grab a different one, the only one left in my size was in this color. Ox blood. Usually color names are a little more pleasant to the ear, like, I don't know, I would've went with something like Blooming Rose, Sun-Kissed Red, Ox Blood? Ew, I almost didn't buy them for the name of the color. That's disgusting. That's nasty. I got period blood leggings that took a literal month to get in. <sighs> but they redeemed themselves. When I put them on, I was pleasantly, pleasantly pleasant. Now throughout this review, don't be surprised if you hear me refer back to Amplify or the Honor Active Effortless leggings. Those are my top two scrunch bum leggings in the game, hands down. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of referencing those. When I first pulled them out of the bag, I felt Amplify. I said these are very soft, but they're not as thin as Amplify. You know how some Amplify's coming out and you put them on, they're just like straight pantyhose feel? This is a little bit thicker. I believe the thickness is more comparable to the Effortless leggings, even though the overall material feels like Alphalete. Whereas Amplify has the three-tiered tapered waistband, this just has a single rib squared off band. This means there's a lot less compression in the band than say the Amplify. This was such a noticeable difference to me when I first put them on. I didn't feel that insane grab around the hips that I do with the Amplify. So right off the bat I knew, okay, a lot less tummy control. The logo is very similar to Alphalete. There's no denying that. It's sewn in, it's white, all capital. Where it's a little bit different is they actually add the same logo on the bottom right back of the ankle. It still has that sewn in logo, it's not printed, so they kept the quality very consistent. This scrunch is very comparable to both Amplify and Honor Active Effortless. They both have a very natural scrunch, the one that moves with your body. It stretches with you. It is minimal to a certain degree. In fact, when I first pulled these out of the bag, there was a little sticker right on the butt cheek. It said something along the lines of be very careful when putting these on. The scrunch is super delicate, just like with any scrunch bum that looks just like this. Don't pull from the scrunch. I have to give them major props 
for adding a disclaimer. Right there, when you pull it out of the package, you can't miss it. Right below the band, you can see there's a very small ribbed contour paneling. This is what feeds the scrunch into the legging, adds a little bit of shape around the glutes. As you can see here, the band curves down just a little bit in the back. Nothing crazy, but enough to be noticeable, even just standing. Now, this doesn't impact the effectiveness of the scrunch. It doesn't make the legging uncomfortable to wear, but it is something I noticed. When I was squatting in these leggings, I did notice that the band had a little baby gape. Now, I don't get that in the Amplify. The Amplify is like, like saran wrap around my waist. So I did have a little bit of a gape. I didn't have any noticeable slipping, but it was something that I was very aware of. When I was squatting, I was like, is there a little gape? Yeah, there is. These leggings are insane in the fact that they have ribbed contour paneling in all the right places. Places I never knew I actually could use them. They added the contour rib paneling not only underneath the glutes, but alongside the hips and into the front. Now, at first when I held these up and I saw them in the front, I said, oh, these are the back of the leggings. Then I turn them around and I see them again. I was like, what's going on here? They have this rib contour literally going all the way around your legs. It feels when wearing them like you have somebody's hands ever so slightly just grabbing you a little bit, just a little, little grab. When I actually turned around and looked at myself in the mirror, it literally helped pucker my bum. I kid you not. When I was at the gym, I couldn't stop looking. I was like, what the, what the? It looked like I got a butt lift. <laughs> <laughs> These did the butt lift thing. Now, Amplify doesn't have any sort of contouring doing this. The closest thing would be the Honor Active Effortless. They do have a bit of the under booty contour, but not nearly to the extent that these do. At first I was like, what is the point of having it in the front? Then when I wore it, I understood. What it does is it actually cinches in right around the groin area. And for me, I feel like it helped my quads pop. I felt like my quads were just more pronounced because you had the cinch around the groin. So not only did it lift the glutes, but it popped the hips and popped the quads. That's a lot of popping going on. That effect alone made me go, okay, now I see why they might be $70. <laughs> this is probably obvious to you, but I'm gonna go ahead and say, the stretch in this is the real deal. If we're talking stretch around the legs, not the waistband, but around the thighs, glutes, and calves, the stretch is more comparable to the Honor Active Effortless. This legging in this color was very squat proof. And not to mention the overall length was perfect on me. Actually, it came a little above the ankle. Sometimes Amplify is very long. This was a super nice length. Now, I don't know about my tall gals. You might be a little bummed hearing that. These are actually super breathable. I don't have any footage, but I did do 20 minutes on the bike at the end of my workout. They held up great. They didn't trap any heat. I really hate when I have thick leggings on and I attempt to do cardio. I don't, I'll just leave the gym at that point. The only cardio I'm doing is going to my car for some Dio for my BO. I don't think I would necessarily want to run in these. I don't think there's enough compression. I think over time this might slip ever so slightly because of the soft material and the lack of compression in the waistband. So if you're a real runner, I don't think these would be quite for you. But doing the bike, they held up just fine. I got no camel toe at all. You already know I did the sweat test in these. Very good at concealing sweat. I mean, I pretty much thought so because you got the marl design. It's a very dark shade. But more importantly, I was seeing if it dried quickly and that it did. So very gym friendly legging overall. I believe my true size small was perfect. I wouldn't size up or down, but if I'm in between, only if I'm in between, then I would suggest maybe sizing down. If you prefer a little more compression, if you're somebody who's like, look, the less compression, the better, then and only then would I say if you're in between, you could get away with sizing up rather than down. Very concealing in terms of cellulite, more comparable to the Honor Active Effortless than the Amplify. The entire legging, I would give a moderate compression. For what I do, my own personal preferences when it comes to the gym, this legging would be it. I like the ribbed waistband. I love that it's seamless, it's high-waisted, you got a scrunch bum emphasizing the curves, perfect length. I mean, the stretch, the comfort, it's all there. Everything I need is satisfied in this type of legging. I wouldn't necessarily want to try it out if I'm doing CrossFit <laughs> or say anything that requires a lot of grit and grime only because this material is soft. So for example, you're deadlifting with an Olympic barbell. You lift up that barbell and the grit from the handles scrapes up against your legging. I would not touch that. <laughs> you're like me. We take some dumbbells, we squat it out, we hit up the leg press, stick to a lot of machines, cables, things like that. I feel like this is good for a casual gym goer, a casual lifter. This is what the inside of the band looks like. This says, <laughs> 
51% recycled polyamide, 38% recycled polyester, 11% elastane, made in Turkey. We are Tala LTD. And then you got their address in here, in case you wanna send them a letter. I don't mind when it's printed in like this. It's definitely sewn in just like the logo on the back. I think maybe you could shrink it down a bit. <laughs> Just scale it down a little bit, just so it's not so, I don't know, obnoxious. Kind of scared me, caught me off guard when I looked at it. <gasps> it just looked like somebody wrote a thesis back here. All right guys, so that was the very first Tala review here on our channel. What do you guys think? Overall, yeah, major similarities between the two leggings, Amplify and Honor Active Effortless. I think that Tala added just enough uniqueness to this specific legging to not be categorized as an official ripoff of one or the other. Overall, really nice job. I'm interested in exploring more from Tala, so if you have any other suggestions on what I should try next, please let me know. Can I just say how glad I am that you guys requested this specific legging? I had a really great first impression of this brand, other than it taking forever to get to me. This legging is dope. You did not steer me wrong. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this review helpful. If you did, definitely hit that subscribe button. And if I didn't touch base on something in particular that you'd like to know more about, feel free to comment down below, ask away. I'm sure other people have the same exact question. Thank you all so much for being here. I love you guys and I'll catch you in my next video.